Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an exciting makeup haul for you guys. I have been shopping so much this past week that my fiance is like ready to cut me off at this point. But I have tons of good stuff that I want to show you guys and great buys that I bought. So if you want to see what I got, just keep on watching. So I think I'm just going to start off by whatever I bought first, I guess. Um, that'll be easier for me to keep track of what I've already told you guys and what needs to come next. Um, so the first thing I got was a couple of eyeshadows from the Morphe collection, or not collection, but Morphe eyeshadows. I bought the pans, so then I ended up going to MAC and just buying the empty palettes that they sell, just because they're only 10 bucks. So I bought this case. And I actually took the Morphe in um, like one of the packets and I cut it out and I glued it onto this just so that I know that these are the Morphe eyeshadows because I have another case like this that is filled with the Makeup Geek. These are the colors that I got. Look how perfect they are. I have not swatched these nor have I used them. I kind of wanted to do like a first impression for you guys when I tried these. So I did take the stickers that came on the packages and I put them on the top of the plastic um, just so that I know what colors are which and I don't have to take them out like this one just fell out um, so I got I tried to get a little bit more bold colors just because a lot of my makeup geek ones are neutral colors these are super 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 affordable I think I only paid like two something each and then I used um, Manny's discount code Alright, I almost just dropped my camera, sorry about that, but we are back and we are going to keep this going. So, I think I only paid two something each, then got another, I think 30% off if I'm not mistaken, using the Manny code. Um, you can find that code on his page, I'm sure he has it in all of his videos, like in the description bar. But anyways, I decided to do more bright colors just because for my Makeup Geek shadows, I ended up getting more neutral colors. But I absolutely love the price, number one, the color, number two. Let's see if they swatch as good as they show. So let's do Sassy, which is one I was really excited about. Um, we can do Orchid, which is a hot pinky color. And we'll do this Dark Knight, which is like a black. Oh, 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 oh. So amazing quality. They swatch the way that they look. Holy pigment. That's exciting. Let's do the yellow just because I'm excited. The yellow doesn't give as much of a payoff, but the other three that I swatched, ooh, they seem very creamy, but not not too creamy. Um, but they're not dry is what I'm trying to say. They, they don't seem like they're going to be all dusty and powdery. Um, if you have any particular colors of the Morphe's that you think are like a must-have, let me know in the description or write in the comments. Um, because I definitely want to buy more of these. I want to fill up this palette. The next thing I want to show you guys is something that I got from Ulta. I keep getting these advertisements on my Facebook. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but every time I'm scrolling down my damn Facebook, I keep seeing these advertisements for makeup on sale and whatever. But seriously, how am I supposed to stop shopping if they keep giving me good deals? You can't. That's the point. And that's why they keep showing me the advertisements, damn Facebook. So anyways, I saw this amazing advertisement for this cute little palette from Too Faced, which I guess came out, I think, early spring, but I guess I'm late to the game, whatever. But it's called the Sugar Pop Palette, and it has little macaroons on it. Sorry, macaroons on it. And it comes in like a tin case, which I like the packaging because it's more sturdy. Um, and it came like this. Now these are the cutest colors. I really wish I would have found this in the spring because I would have probably used this all summer long. All the shadows that I'm wearing today are from this um, palette. I absolutely love these colors. And then it came with like this little pull out thing. Um, and it has a bunch of looks for you on it. So I thought that was really cool too. And I guess it teaches you how to do them. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this little palette. I think I got it for only like 21 bucks at Ulta. So I definitely had to get it. I think it's originally like 36 or 38 bucks. The next thing I am going to talk about is... Oh, it was a gift from my fiance. I came home from work the other day and it was just sitting on my makeup vanity. And I literally was screaming. I was so excited. I wanted this, but I just knew that I had been buying so much makeup. And he was like you know trying to put me on a limit there because I was just going a little crazy but I was so 
excited when I saw this. So he got me the Too Faced Vegas Nay. Um, it came with like a bunch of stuff. So it came in a big box like this. And then it shows you what it came with. It came with a shadow insurance, a better than sex, um, little mascara. And then it came with a glitter pigment, which is the one that I'm wearing on my lid now. It's called um, Nude Beam. It also came with these little cute cards of different makeup looks and it teaches you how to do them. It has like a pictorial on the back of them. And then it came with the palette. I love this packaging. I think Vegas Nay and Too Faced did an amazing job when it comes to the packaging of this. So it comes in a box like this and then it also comes in this which you pull out. And then it like has a magnet here and then you pull it out and it was all in here. So the palette was in one side and then all the other stuff was on the other side. And they just did a really, really good job with the packaging. <sighs> Man, I'm sure you guys have been seeing this everywhere because I know I've been seeing it everywhere. I, oh, I haven't tried this either. I have not swatched it, so this will be the first time. Another first impression for you guys. Look at these colors oh, oh my goodness so you have your neutrals up top and then you have your bold bright colors down at the bottom which will be perfect to combine with each other you have mattes you have shimmers it's a perfect combination i will do gold nugget because that looks fun and i don't think i have any golds like this surprisingly um let's do follow me which is the purple color and then we will try this double tap because I like that dark burgundy color because you can already tell that's going to be a great fall color. So those are the three swatches. They are very, they're not drying. Um, I do see a little bit of like, well, because I picked up a shimmer, of course, but you can see that it's a little bit more dustier, but that's to be expected with a shimmer. You're not going to get a creamy shimmer unless you get ColourPop. Um, but... Overall, I am impressed. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. I think you get a lot of bang for your buck, and this was only $45. If you think about it, you get one of these, you get one of these, and you get this. So if you're thinking about it, if you go to Ulta, these are like $10. These are like $10, and I'm not exactly sure how much these are, but my fiance got this for $45 for all of this stuff, which I think is incredible for the amount of stuff number one that you're getting the the amount of product and the quality of the product like this palette is amazing like oh the only thing i wish it had was a mirror that's about it but other than that i definitely recommend this i just wanted to show you guys a couple of samples that i got with ordering this stuff and then at alta and yeah from online i think um, so the first one I got was the Benefit Roller Lash, and I really like this one. I don't, I wouldn't use it for volumizing, um, but it really lengthens the lashes, and I like this combined with the Better Than Sex. That's what I'm using now for my lashes, and I've actually been using this like every day since I got it last week. Then they gave me a Benefit Lolly Tint, and I guess this is like a tint that you can use as a blush, like you just apply it to your cheeks. Um, or you can apply it to your lips. I don't really know. I tried it out and I did not like it, but I don't know. I don't really know how to use it either. So if you guys know how to use it, let me know down below. I got a Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation little sample. Look how tiny this is. I thought it was so cute. Um, but I got this when I did an order at Sephora. It came in as a free sample and I used this yesterday and I was actually really impressed, but I'll show you which one I ended up getting. I ended up going to Sephora because I was looking for a new foundation and I ended up picking something else. Um, so I'll show you guys why and I'll tell you why when I get to that point. I don't want to jump ahead of what we're doing. Um, and then another thing I got with my points from Sephora is the 7 Days of Eyeshadow from Urban Decay. And I didn't even realize, I didn't really look at them because I'm like, oh, that's like the tiniest amount of product. What am I going to do with that? But, um... So you get seven of these little things and then it came with a sample of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. The one I was most excited about is this Moon Dust in Solstice. I have been looking everywhere for this and I could order it online, I'm sure, but for like months now, every time I go into any Ulta, any um, Sephora, I can never find this. And I'm not going to open it and waste it to show you guys, but 
if you guys have this you're lucky if you don't have it definitely check it out next time you go because it's like the most beautiful and incredible color that is the next thing on my wish list <laughs> so i just want to apologize if i'm speaking really fast and if i'm kind of rambling on you guys don't know how excited I am to share this stuff with you. Like, I've been holding my tongue and kind of giving, like, little hints on my social media and stuff like that. But I could not wait until today to film this video for you guys and show you all this amazing stuff that I've been getting. Because, yeah, it's kind of pricey, but... I think you get what you pay for it's really good quality stuff and it's one of those things where it's like all the stuff that people are raving about and all this stuff so I kind of just wanted to show this to you guys and show you how amazing these products really are and how much I really do recommend them so with that being said let's move on to the most important one out of all of them this has been talked about and talked about and talked about and I absolutely love her I watch her on YouTube every single time she posts a video and that is Miss Jaclyn Hill now once I saw this I was like I have to have it but I just couldn't I'm kind of one of those that I'll go shopping and I'll splurge 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 and then I'll take a break and won't shop for a while so I kind of when this first came out I was like oh my god I really can't buy that like not right now not right now so when I was finally given the okay to buy some makeup you know your girl had to have it so I ordered this from Sephora and no my fiance ordered this from Sephora for me and it came in like a day and a half which is like beyond amazing to me because I didn't want to wait for it anyway it came in this really pretty gold box and it kind of looks like it has like water bubbles or champagne bubbles on it um, it is by Becca and this is the shimmering skin perfecter um, pressed champagne pop and so it has her little message on the back which I thought was really nice I read that the other day she's just the sweetest person ever this is the packaging which I thought was really cool it came with like a tin little you know top it came with a mirror it's like a big compact it's like a clippy one so are you ready for this I don't know if you're ready for this seriously I don't know if you're ready for all this goodness that that is just about to happen <sighs> look at it can you guys see that like how beautiful of a color and I have to say I think this would be perfect on every single skin tone so if you guys are thinking about it and haven't decided whether you're gonna get it everybody in the damn world should have this it is flawless it's amazing it goes on it glides it's perfect it's not too overbearing this is probably the best flipping highlighter I have seen in a long time let me swatch it for you real quick so that's just a little bit of it and then I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand and show you how pretty that is look pretty it's so gorgeous I just think oh I can't I'll be here all day talking about this I just good job Jacqueline go get it champagne pop by Becca do you see that highlight oh my God. I can't I can't get over how amazing the champagne pop is I can't I just keep looking at myself in the mirror sorry sorry just have to look at that highlight glow and I'm just so excited so let me contain yourself contain yourself um I have been looking for a new foundation I wanted uh, full coverage I don't really need a full coverage but I've been kind of breaking out a lot lately I don't know what's up but anyways um I was looking for a full coverage I had tried the I got a sample of the urban decay one and I liked it but it was too sheer it wasn't it wasn't caked enough for me I guess and although I don't like to look totally like you know I just stuck my face in a cake um, I like it to be a little bit heavier and a little bit like longer lasting and thicker I don't know what I'm trying to say you guys know what I'm trying to say yeah okay so it was between the Urban Decay I was thinking about the Makeup Forever because I got that little trial size one and I really do like it um, and then Kat Von D I ended up going with the Kat Von D and I'm actually really happy with my choice I put it on today um, it is really thick like I only used two pumps and it covered my whole entire face I actually like the way that it 
the coverage that it gave me um, and then I went ahead and paired it with the Kat Von D concealer now I am in the shade medium 54 for the um, foundation and I am in the shade medium 24 for um, the concealer so I used it today the only thing that I have to say about it is that I ended up having to go buy the MAC um, fix plus to spray on my brush just to make it so that it's actually movable because it's so thick using two pumps only and just pairing it with the fix plus number one saves me a lot of money because it was the cheapest one out of the three the urban decay one was 40 the makeup forever was 43 and i liked them but i didn't love them and when i sh when she showed me this she showed me the texture i was like you know what I've been wanting to get the Fix Plus anyway, so you're just giving me an excuse to spend more money on makeup, which at this point, Henry was like, you are done, no more makeup, don't even talk about it. Um, so I ended up just going downstairs to the Mac store and ended up getting the Fix Plus. Now, I loved it, loved the coverage, loved the way that it moved, and these two together, are a perfect combination so I say if you're gonna do the Kat Von D mix it with the fix plus it'll make it so much better the only con I have is that this is not as thick as I thought like the foundation is thicker than the concealer for me um, so I ended up and it's not as bright I probably should have got the shade lighter than this um, so I ended up just using my NYX one that I use, which is like a light shade or whatever, and then just paired it with the banana powder. But other than that, I am loving, like, my whole face is all the stuff that I was, like, that I just recently bought. And I am so excited and so happy with the way that it feels, the way that it looks, like, <sighs> I am beyond ecstatic with all the new stuff that I just got. Hi. Um, I'm filming. Can I call you back? <laughs> I love you. Bye. Sorry. I had to take a sip because, you know, I've been talking so much and I talk so fast. I probably filmed this video in, like, less than 10 minutes because I'm just, like, blah, 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 blah. too excited. So, I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever you want to do. But thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it.